take a quick look at uh, templates this month and see how priorities come into play. We have a template on the screen here with multiple components in here to test for cut and fill. If we hover our cursor over these segments, we get a flyout, and one of the things those flyout tells us is the priority of that segment. And as we progress through, we can see the different priorities on the uh, cut sections here. If I flip over to the fill portion of the template, we can see priority number four is assigned to this first segment. And when the template was built, the attention wasn't paid. It was also priority number four assigned to the second and the third components as well. A couple ways to resolve that. Number one is you can double click on a component, bring it up to edit it, and that's where you can change the priorities. Um, another way, which might actually be easier, is if we go to test the template. If we do have priority conflicts, Inroads is going to give us a dialog informing us that those conflicts do exist. And we'll have to check them when we go in to test the template. And we can see it when we test, we might not get the results that we expect. So if I go ahead and draw my existing ground in here, everything looks pretty good on the cuts it side of the equation. When I come down to fill, if I look at the right side versus the left side, I see that right jumps down from the 6 to 1 slope down to the uh, 3 to 1 slope that bypasses the 4 to 1. So I do have a problem in there. And to resolve that, I can simply click the Check Priorities icon or button up here. The Check Priorities dialog box opens. It tells me where those conflicts are or from what point it branches out. If I highlight that, or it's the only one um, available, so it's highlighted automatically. If I select Edit, it gives me a secondary dialog box that shows me all the branches from that for those end conditions. As I select these fields, they highlight on the uh, test diagram in the back, and I can go through and define which priority I want these segments to have. In this case, I would like that 6 to 1 fill to test after it does the cut situation, so I'll make that a priority, or leave it at priority number 4. 4 to 1, I want priority 5. And 3 to 1, I want priority 6. So when I select OK, close, and test that template again, I can see I get 3 to 1, 4 to 1, and then 6 to 1. So now my template is uh, fully functional. I don't have those problems with the priorities. So that's a quick tip on how to check priorities or define them when you're building a template.